Alright guys, before we start this video, just remember, everyone is different and everyone is on their own journey. Don't take what we've said as a fence, it's just certain things that we've noticed about certain non-practicing brothers and sisters. Of course, we were all there at some moment in our life, so there's no hard feelings. Just remember, it's cool, you're on your journey, no one's judging you, no one's saying anything negative, just remember one thing, don't change the deen. Just because you haven't reached a certain standard, don't feel that you have to change the deen to match where you are. And also, be humble, admit your shortcomings, make dua and also make it clear that inshallah you're trying and you will continue trying and there's no harm in that. Smile to Jenya. <laughs> Number one. One of you. Bro, what are you doing? What's that? I'm rolling up a Rizla, innit? What does it look like? Don't do that. It's not good for your teeth. It's not good for your. Arre, yaar, on, just man. once, in man. It's, it's okay, man. I pray. Body has rights over you. Bro, once in, man. It's not gonna break the bank, man. Come on. <laughs> you know, don't be so extreme, yeah. Being a Muslim is a way of life. It's not a switch that you can just turn on and off whenever you feel like it. Number two, my ear is clean. Bro, it's been going on. Bro, let me explain. I know what I've been doing is wrong. I know I've been chasing little kids down the street, telling them that Santa isn't real. I know I've been trying to stab librarians with the corner of the encyclopedia. I know I've been threatening police officers with my armpit odor. And I know I've, I've stabbed a few pigeons with my toenail. But bro, my heart, it's still clean bro, it's still in the right place. This is up to Allah to verify. Until then, just do what Allah's asked you to do, yeah? Number three, Allah one car. Oh, I, I saw you with this, this weird girl. Yeah, she's she the niece. Wife. She all right, nah, she's my side chick, innit? Like, she, married, she does the job, innit? What? It's haram, man. What? You know, it's... Bro. Allah is doing everything in it. Like surely there's like billions of people on the planet. Surely he's not concerned about who I'm going out with. So it's all good, man. It's all good. I can set you up with someone. No, no, set you up with someone. Right. I'm yeah? already married. Yeah, you're already married. Yeah, because Frank was looking for someone. Allah sent some great, great men on the planet, and they all had to worship him according to the Quran and the Hadith. So what makes you and I special that we don't have to do all that? Hmm. Number four, your opinion? Bro, I know scholars haven't agreed upon this for 1400 years yet. Yeah. And I know scholars even till today don't agree upon this. I've just finished smoking my Rizla, yeah. So what's your opinion regarding this ayah? So we can kind of put this issue to rest, you and me, yeah? Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> my, my opinion does not matter. Bro, oh, what's me? What you mean that move for, huh? Just tell me what you think Alif Lam Mim means. Who the hell are you to be offering your opinion when you have absolutely no knowledge whatsoever? We consult experts when it comes to every other profession. Why is it that when it comes to the deen, we are so quick to offer our opinions? Number five, Allah is forgiving. Oh, what happened? I didn't even see you in Ramadan. What's going on? I didn't even see you in the masjid. Uh, bro, I couldn't fast, man. It's, Why? It's just too long. Too long? Yeah, Come I was tired. On. You know, this this is a big sin. Come on. I was tired, though. It's fard. God doesn't want me to be tired, does He? Fard. Does, he, does God want me to be tired? What's good now? I ask for forgiveness, so it's all good. Me and him are cool. But I'm going out with my mates, and we're going to have a Big Mac, and we're going to have some pork scratchings. But it's okay, bro, because I'm going to ask for forgiveness and all that. Afterwards, a bit of whiskey, but I'm going to say Bismillah. But, bro, I'm going to say Bismillah before I drink it, though. Oh, you're so extreme, though, man. Why are you so extreme? Extreme. Bro. Saying that's not how Istighfar works. Got to be sincere. Bro, lecture starting now, Got yeah? To be sincere. Oh. You know? Don't want to hear a lecture, man. Just because he's forgiving doesn't imply he's some sort of walkover, yeah? Yes, there are two sides to every extreme. And according to MI5 and other terrorist experts, they actually deem the people who don't follow Islam to be more dangerous because they don't have the required knowledge. Number six, difference of opinion. Bro, what's been going on? 
I ain't seen you in a time. Bro, I'm not feeling this uh, anymore, man. This huh? the dean, man. There's too much difference of opinion in it. It's just confusing. Uh, I'm not down with that. You got shine in your hair. What kind of shampoo are you using? Oh, it's just head and shoulders, isn't it? Head and shoulders? Yeah. 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 Did you know that um, head and shoulders is not the only uh, shampoo? There's 30 other brands. Yeah, there's yeah. loads, yeah. Yeah, so, so how do you know which shampoo to use? I just take my time. It's my hair, isn't it? you got to look fresh, bro. got to look fresh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, so you take your time to pick the shampoo that yeah. makes the shine on your head. Yeah. So why don't you take the time? to shine and polish your Dean for the hereafter. But why are you being extreme for? Difference of opinion in Islam is not to do with the obligatory acts or the tenets of faith. So the least you can do is at least ensure you've got that on lockdown. Number seven. Our religion tag to God. Bro, what's going on? What? There's Buddha there, Ganesh hanging there, and then you got... Who's that? Why is there a Christmas tree there? For Santa, isn't it? It's for the kids. But you're Muslim. <sighs> Bro. Doesn't matter which religion we follow though. It's all going to God, isn't it? There is only one God and He has made every effort to show Himself to us through His signs and He's kept His message pure and visible and He's made it as unadulterated as possible. It's our duty to make sure that we take the time to seek Him out and wherever there are people falsely attributing themselves to God, we need to help them so those negatives are taken out of society. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.